What's up guys? I'm White Trash Willie, aka Will, aka whatever you want to call me. I don't really care. And today I'm gonna to be talking about titanium bars. I've been running titanium bars for about the past six months, and my first pair and my previous pair was these Youth Gone Wild titanium T bars. Um, these bars came 26 tall and 26 wide, but I cut them to 22 wide. And these are just stock 26 tall, top to bottom. Come with no slit for SCS, which is good. Um, these bars are game changing. Like, I'm serious. The $300, which it cost, is just, is totally worth the price. And I'm, I say that because these bars can take your normal tricks and s just speed them up. It takes a little bit to get used to, but once you're used to them, they just feel exactly like steel bars. They throw like steel bars for the most part. You don't have, if you ask Derek Marr, he says they don't, but I, I think they do. But yeah, they throw like steel bars. They are as strong as steel bars, I think. I have a friend named Clayton, you might, might have heard of him, and he, he bends steel bars like on the weekly, and he had tie bars for a couple months, so I hope that says something. They're not, they're not weak bars at all. They're very, 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 very strong. But stronger bars than these, and better quality bars than these, are my new bars, which are the Affinity ones. These Affinity bars are a little bit heavier than the Youth Gone Wild ones, but they come 28 tall and 24 wide. So that's an extra two inches. Now for most of you guys who are probably thinking like, why in the hell would I want to run 28 tall bars? It's just an option. You can cut them to whatever height you want. It's not a, you have to keep them at 28. But I cut mine to 27 in SCS, so they're 29 or 28 and a half because it's a baby. Shout out this new Zach Martin SES. It's sick. Huge shout out to Affinity. They give me a they give me a hookup on these bars. Oh man, these bars are amazing. So these bars are similar to steel bars in the fact that the outside diameter and the inside diameter are the same as steel bars. Unlike the Youth Gone Wild ones that are kind of off. The crossbar is thicker and actually I have metal barns here, but it's actually way thicker than the Youth Gone Wild ones. I'll show you right here, are just like normal steel thickness. You can put barns in these bars and with no problem. For the only Affinity ones, it's a little bit tougher. It's kind of like having aluminum bars where you need to cut a little divot out of them. For me, it doesn't really matter what titanium bars. They feel similar. I have more trust in the Affinity ones just because they don't flex as much. And that's a big learning curve of getting titanium bars is because titanium is a very flexible metal. So you're actually gonna feel your bars like bend and especially you're gonna, you're gonna see them like bow out. If you watch some slow-mo clips of people that have titanium bars, you'll see the bars like bow back and forth a lot. But that's just how they are. Um, and once you get used to how that feels, it's a game changer, like absolutely game changer. Titanium bars all the way, they're the future of this sport. I'm just gonna say it. Um, Zach Martin's actually running them right now, so the whole stigma of like, they're just park bars, like no. They should be everyone bars. Everyone should be running these bars. Most every single company that makes titanium bars has like a very good warranty on it too. If you're a, hardcore shredder and you just love shredding really hard and breaking parts, these bars are great for you. Just absolutely great because most other, most companies have a warranty on them. What else can I say about these bars? They're just, they're amazing. They're perfect. I love them. Love them. Love them to death. All right, so if you're like most riders, you've probably tried aluminum bars in your life. And a lot of people don't like alum, aluminum bars because they don't throw as well. That means when you throw your bar spin, it doesn't come around as fast as a steel bar. And titanium bars don't come around quite as fast as steel bars. Like they feel really, really similar once you get used to it. And I, I almost can't even tell the difference of how a steel bar felt compared to a titanium bar. Maybe I'm just so used to it. But something that you can do to make your uh, bars come around a little bit faster and have that more of a snappy feel is you can put metal bar ends in. This is basically just adding extra weight to the end of the bars. But yeah, nothing to say about these affinity bars. They're just perfect. They're coming out with oversized bars soon. Right now they're just standard size bars. So you can run IHC with them, you can run SCS, you can run ICS, you can run basically any compression system except HIC, but their HIC oversized bars are coming soon. So that should be out, I think, except by January. So yeah, look out for those. They're gonna be super tight. And yeah, definitely suggest uh, titanium bars. They just make your scooter drop like two pounds. Um, they feel amazing and they're totally worth the price and I really mean that. Like even if you have to save up for a while to get these titanium bars, you'll never have to buy another pair of bars again. They're just gonna last that long and they're gonna feel that good. And if you do ever break them, you're just gonna get another pair because they feel that good. I don't really know what else to say about them. Um, if you have any questions about titanium bars, feel free to DM me at White Trash Willie. 
I'll be able to answer all your tedious questions because maybe you're curious if this type of thing fits with this type of titanium. I don't know. But just if you have any questions, just just DM me. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you guys want more uh, product overviews type things, reviews, just let me know. Thanks guys. Thanks for watching.